So, um, you know, building um, where was never a question. We knew, we knew we wanted to stay where we were at. Um, it took us a bit to find the land, but um, really, you know, about a year and a half ago, we took in a, a kid and next thing you know, the house that we lived in for 17 years that I absolutely loved didn't fit our needs. My husband was working from home with COVID. I had to work from home some. We had a, an, an additional child and just not enough space. Um, and so we knew that we needed to find a, a bigger home that, that had you know more suited our needs now. Um, custom home, the reason we decided our first home was actually a custom home. And, you know, it was a good experience. We, we liked the builder, um, but, you know, 17 years later, it was a small builder. He just wasn't in business anymore. Um, so we knew without a doubt, we wanted to go with a custom home, not like a cookie, hill, cookie cutter, big builder in a neighborhood. And so a friend of ours said, hey, you know, I know a lady who owns like eight acres across the street from us. Let's see if she'll sell it. And it was like, yes, let, let's do it. Let's ask her. So we, so we reached out and asked the lady if she would be willing to sell. And she was. And I'll say when we got the response back that she was willing to entertain offers, it was, it was very exciting because it was like, oh, my God, we've been looking for like years. And so to finally find something that fit our needs perfectly across the street from my daughter's godparents. You know, it, it, seven acres of land, you know, nothing can be built up around us. It was like perfect. Schumacher, um, our realtor that helped us buy the land, mentioned you guys. Um, and I looked online and immediately there was like four or four plans. I was like, okay, these fit our needs perfectly. Um, so we made an appointment like the next day and, and showed up. And I really, really loved that it was customized price-wise. Like if I wanted to add something, she put it in and I knew what it was gonna cost. If I wanted to pull something out, you know, it was very, it was very detailed and it wasn't any surprises. It wasn't like when I left there, I was like, hmm, how much is that gonna cost? We were talking about our backsplash and at the time I think I had some light colors um, and it was funny Eric goes how much is how much how much uh, Italian food do you cook I said a lot my kids love spaghetti they love lasagna you know we, we would make pizzas and he goes you have that light backsplash all that spaghetti sauce is going to get the grout it's going to get on there it's not going to and I was like oh huh I didn't even think about that and so we went with, and we changed the backsplash and went with the darker color, and which I absolutely love, but it wasn't something I would have thought of. Um, and so that to me was like him taking kind of some of his experience in, in, in knowing and seeing people do things and being like, hey, let me just give you an idea or a suggestion. And so ultimately, like, I agree with it because, you know, I just spilled a pot of spaghetti the other day and splashed it on there and just wiped it right off. And you can't see it because it's a darker backsplash and a darker grout. So I think that one. And then he also made a point like with my pantry um, doing a pocket door. So um, giving it a little bit more space and, and, and whatnot. So, I mean, just little suggestions I think they made with their experience. Um, you know, Arnold, when he was building, he suggested moving the air conditioning unit just because experience with other houses, he felt like it would be better in a certain area. So, you know, I think them using their expertise and, and, and using past experience helped us in a few ways like that. The Beverly one was the one we ultimately chose. We converted one into a bedroom. The other one we converted into a, a bathroom, a well, three-fourths bath because it doesn't have a tub, and then an, an office. So, um, and we obviously closed in some walls and, and did that. So, um, we did that. We we did the we did the master bath on it. We did the extended kitchen with the island, the massive island, which I absolutely love. 
um, and we got a pantry. So yeah, we did customize it. I mean, some of the some of the customizations were already kind of on y'all's website in the floor plans. Um, my husband, it was the tile shower. Like that was he 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 had to have it. Um, me it was the pantry. Like um, at the old house, I didn't have one. I had I had, I had lots of cabinets, but you know. Um, my kids are actively involved in sports and, and, and we do a lot of donations and I buy a lot of stuff. And so there was a, upstairs in our other house, we had all kinds of stuff up there storage and I hated it because it was out there now with the pantry, it's massive. Like it's just, it holds everything. I mean, even my tailgating supplies that I normally put in, in containers and store in the attic, they're out of the storage containers stacked and, and organized in the pantry because it was so big. So I think, like I said, mine was the pantry and then my husband's obviously was his tiled shower. But I did, we walked in and it was like, oh my God, this is our house. Like the first night we spit in it, all of us were like, wow, we feel like it's home. Like, just, it was comfortable. It was, it, it was an easy process and it just, it, it kind of, with all the chaos and a graduation and buying and selling, it just, it just from the moment we walked in, like even living somewhere for 17 years or so, it just, it just felt like home. 